Hi guys! So it's been over a month since I got this Kindle and now we're finally going to review it. Okay, so this is actually the Kindle Paper White 4 or the 2018 version and I chose mine in pink which is like mauve pink and it looks so cute and if it's on standby, this is how it looks like. If you're not using it, this is how it looks like. And all you have to do is press this button like right here all you have to do is press that it'll do that and all you have to do is swipe up and that's how it looks like i'm currently reading Kyer's war and since the title of this video is convincing you to buy a kindle here are the few things that made me love this kindle it's very compact, it's portable, you can take it anywhere with you, it's so slick, plus you don't have to worry about your books getting dented. It's so compact that you can just put it in your bag, it's very small, and all the books you need to read and you want to read are all in here. It's waterproof, you can go on a shower, you can take a swim and use this at the same time, it will not budge. It has long battery life, it can go for weeks without you charging it, so much so that I actually forget that I still have to charge this. But uh, don't worry, it will remind you if it's running low and that's actually my only indication that I still need to charge this because it goes such a long way. Another thing about this is it feels like you're reading on paper. With the e-ink display, there's no glare, there's no eye irritation, it's so comfortable in the eyes. But if you want to read at night, you can just turn on the backlighting and it just feels like you're just increasing the brightness. Now the question is, what's the difference with this Kindle to an iPad or a tablet? Well, the difference is a Kindle is just an e-reader. It has no other apps, no Facebook, no TikTok, no YouTube. It's just meant for reading. It has very low amount of blue light which actually helps your eyes versus to an iPad or your phone or a tablet. I remember when every time I use my phone while I was reading, it always makes me tear up. It somehow always hurts my eyes or gives me a migraine while a Kindle has never done that. Now, if you want to transfer a pre-existing file or books that you have from your phone or your iPad, you can simply do that and transfer it to your Kindle by using Calibre. But what I honestly do with my Kindle is I just download books. Now, if you want to get books, you can simply search the title of the book here and you can also pay for it in a much lesser amount. But what I usually do is I would just illegally download a book and then just transfer it here. Okay, so this is how I download my books. So at first I go to Z library, type in the title that I want to get. And then you would see the files, the type of files here. And usually a Kindle would support a Mobi, so I would go with Mobi here. And then download. And once that's done, I just have to go to my email. Now your recipient would be your Kindle specific email. Now, if you want to know the specific email that your Kindle has, all you have to do is go here, press settings, press your account, and down here is your specific email where you can send all your books. So this is my recipient. I can just attach the file. And I don't need to put the subject anymore, I'll just press send. Sometimes I just have to like refresh my library and it appears. So I'm basically showing you the same thing but I'll show you a way if a Mobi file isn't available. All you have to do is sign up for free in this site and all you have to do is convert it to Mobi and then download. 
Once I have completely downloaded it, all I have to do is share it to my Kindle. When I send it to my phone, all I have to do is go to my library and it will appear like that. All I have to do is press that. It will start downloading and then done. And since I live here in the Philippines, we're not really much open about e-readers because we prefer collecting physical books and I get you, I mean, I collect with you guys too, but if you're a student or if you're someone who's just starting to work, I suggest investing on a Kindle first because there are so many ways for you to get and read the books you want without actually paying much or not at all. And you can save so much more than actually buying physical books. I love everything about physical books just as much as you, but if you're a student or you're just starting with your career, I really do think that you should invest on a Kindle more because it will help you save and get the books you want. You can save by actually paying for the books you want in a much lesser price or don't pay at all. I really think it's a good investment because you can read all the books you want in a Kindle which can help you start saving now and then in the future once you have a stable job you can buy all the books you've read and make it as a library so to me that's a goal to save as much now read as much as you can just in a kindle or even in a pdf and then buy all the books you've read in the future i know it's an investment costing around 7,000 pesos just to have this tablet thing. But once you actually sell this, it's it ranges in the same amount as you bought it. And sometimes it even costs way more than it is. So should you get a Kindle? My answer is yes, go for it. So that is it, you guys. I hope you had some few takeaways in this video and I do hope you did enjoy it. I'm still doing a giveaway, so please keep anticipating my TikTok. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It adds as an entry to my giveaway. And also, it'll help this channel grow. So thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys on my next vlog. Bye!